I'm going to show how to assemble and operate the Mantis Tiller. This model has the four cycle Honda engine. It's important to follow the proper unboxing technique in order to make the assembly a lot easier. First, open the top and remove the tine box. Then, remove anything that's not connected to the engine. Now, lay the box on one side and open the bottom flaps, folding them away from the open bottom. Return the box to an upright position and pull it straight up. You will find that the engine is sitting in a cardboard cradle. Keep the engine in this cradle during the assembly. Next, lay out all the pieces, parts, and hardware on a table for easy access and identification. Begin by fitting a handle clamp along the outside of the short leg of one of the handles, lining up the holes on the clamp and the leg. Then take one of the two 3-inch bolts and slide it through the holes that are closest to the bend. Then slide the other leg onto the bolt in this manner. Locate the recessed channels below the engine and slide the handles into these channels as shown here. While holding in place, add the clamp on the other side and secure by hand tightening using the lock nut. Using a 7 16 inch socket and wrench, thread the lock nut on the rest of the way. Next, take the other 3 inch bolt and send it through the front holes. Thread on the lock nut and finish tightening using the 7 16 wrench and socket. Make sure both nuts are equally tight. The upper handles can now be installed. Begin by installing the carrying handle. Lightly squeeze the lower handles towards one another so they line up with the two smaller holes on the carrying handle. Then slide the carrying handle on in this manner. Now take the loose upper handle and load the carriage bolt through the end hole in this manner. Install by lining it up with the left lower handle and inserting the carriage bolt from the outside in. Take the screw on knob and secure the handles together. Make sure to fully tighten. Repeat this process with the other handle on the right hand side. Next, cap the exposed bolts with the supplied nuts. Thread on by hand and then tighten using a 7 16 inch wrench. Tighten until the bolt is flush with the outside of the nut. Next, install the handle brace. Line up the holes on the side of the brace with the holes on the upper handles. Secure to both handles using the cap screws and lock nuts. Turn the tiller on its side for easier access to the hardware. Then use a 7 16 inch wrench and socket to finish tightening. Be careful not to over tighten, you could strip the threads. Now secure the black cable to the handle using the clips. 
slide the clip up the cable and snap it into place in this manner. Then secure the second clip at this location. The tines can now be installed. Obtain the tines and the two retaining pins. Remove the tiller from the cardboard cradle and lay it on its side. Note the anatomy of the tines. One side of the tine has an O-shaped hole and the other side has a D-shaped hole. Attach the tine so the O-shaped hole slides onto the axle first. Then turn the tine until the axle protrudes from the D-shaped hole. Secure by sliding in the retaining pin through the hole in the axle. Repeat this process on the other side. Here are the two ways that tines can be installed for cultivating or for tilling. In order to go from cultivating to tilling, simply swap sides in this manner. Next, install the kickstand. Here's the hardware that you will need. Place the top bracket over the lower handles at this location. Then bring up the bottom bracket on the other side of the handles and match up the mounting holes with the top bracket. Secure into place using the supplied screws. Tighten using a 3 8 inch socket. The tiller is now ready for oil and fuel. Next, fill with oil. Position the tiller by rocking it forward so that it rests on the fuel tank. This is the oil plug. Remove the oil plug in this manner. Next, pour in 2.7 fluid ounces of approved four cycle engine oil. I'm using Honda 10W30. Once filled, tighten the plug and return the tiller to its upright position. Then, remove the gas cap and fill with gasoline. Because this model is a four stroke engine, it does not require an oil gas mixture. Once you return the gas cap, the engine can then be started. To start, first toggle the switch on the trigger handle in this position. Then close the choke by moving the choke lever to the top position. Find the gas primer bulb in this location. Press the primer bulb approximately six times until the bulb is filled with gas. Once filled, press it two more times. The best way to explain how to run the tiller is to work it like a vacuum sweeper. Begin with an easy rocking motion and pull the tiller backward. Then repeat rocking motion and pull it backward again. In this scene, I have the tines in cultivation position. This is a more shallow dig. Here's an example of when I switch the tines to tiller position. This results in a much deeper dig. At 24 pounds, this tiller is very easy to maneuver. It leaves a nice smooth seedbed at the depth of 10 inches when in tilling position.